So today's book is... What? Where's the book? What? It's got something to do with this piece of paper? Okay, sure. C? What's C? Oh, that's right. Now I remember. C stands for Captain, right? So we don't actually need this anymore. And today's book is Judy B. Jones is Captain Field Day. That's right. Judy B. Jones's room, room nine, is finally having a field day, and Judy B. Jones has been named Captain, which I, which is why I'm wearing this cape. Even though here Judy B. Jones's cape is red, which makes her look like Wonder Woman, and here my cape is blue and has cute little squids on it, right? So anyway, she's wearing a cape, and she's full of team spirit because she's really excited to have a field day. And then, Room 9 and its neighbor, Room 8, are going to basically have this field day together. So the students of Room 9 and the students of Room 8 are going to be pitted together in a competition where they're going to have to fight together in teams. So Room 9 and Room 8 are going to have to compete in the series of sports like running, throwing, tug of war, all of that field stuff where eventually the team with the most wins gets the win, right? Now, Judy B. Jones is team captain, so it's her job to keep the team spirit up, to cheer for her team, to lead her team, essentially, and make sure that everyone is participating equally in the team and all that stuff. But, Judy B. Jones' job becomes really hard when Team 9 keeps losing, and losing, and losing. And the reason they're losing isn't because they're bad at sports, it's because Room 8 has strong Frankie. And strong Frankie is good at everything and anything. He's the fastest runner, he's the furthest thrower, he's the best at tug of war, he's good at everything. So the Room 9 kids don't want to participate in this game anymore. And their spirit goes from here to here. And it gets to the point where when Judy B. Jones cheers for her team, Nobody really listens, they're milling around, they're talking to each other. They're not really doing anything constructive for her team. So Judy B. Jones starts losing spirit too. Until they get to the last event of the day. And that's the pull-up contest. So a pull-up is where you have a metal bar above your head, and you jump up, and then you grab the bar, so you swing with the bar, and then you pull yourself up by your arms so that your chin is above the bar, right? Now it's really hard. But when it gets to the pull-up contest, nobody wants to challenge Strong Frankie because all of them think that Strong Frankie's going to win. And when Mrs., the teacher of Room 9, calls for a volunteer, nobody volunteers. When she asks Judy B. Jones to do it, Judy B. Jones doesn't volunteer. So now they're at a dilemma. Nobody wants to challenge Strong Frankie because they all think they're going to lose. But then William steps up. And William is small and puny, which means that he's super small, he doesn't have any muscles on his arms. Nobody thinks he's going to be able to do a pull-up, especially when strong Frankie has done seven pull-ups. That's astonishing, right? So they all think it's going to be impossible. And if you want to find out what happens next, you read this book, right? This book is possibly one of the best Judy B. Jones books I've ever read. So, you know, that's saying a lot when you consider that there are more than 10 Judy B. Jones books, and a lot of them are also in a collection. So if you've read some of the other Judy B. Jones books, you might want to read this one. And if you've read this one and you want to read something else, try another Judy B. Jones book. They're great. Yeah, as I said in other videos, Barbara Park is probably one of the best children's fiction writers in the history of children's fiction. And this story is particularly great because it's something that happens really often. Even when I participate in team sports, sometimes I don't want to play anymore because my team is getting clobbered. But at the same time, it's important to understand that even if you lose, it's important to lose well. And even if you win, it's important to win well. It's something called humility. And I understand that, you know, kindergarten is not the best at understanding humility, but, you know, you guys should be good at understanding humility because we're older than kindergartners, right? And we're more mature. And by looking at the stories of kindergartners, we can basically learn more about ourselves because they, we used to be kindergartners too a long, long time ago, right? And obviously, like Barbara Park's usual stories, it's really funny at the same time, but at the same time, this is one of those stories that really has a heartwarming end. 
and really just stroke something really deep within your heart and helps you learn something, right? So read this book. It's really great, as I said before, and I think you guys will enjoy it. Thanks. Captain, right? So today's book. 